everyone, Matt here from Docs Running, and today we're going to do a sub to full review of the ASIC Super Blast. It was supposed to be an initial review, but I've gotten 35 miles in the last three days, so it's no longer an initial review, it's in a full review. But let's jump into talking about what the shoe is, some of the specs, how it feels and rides underfoot. So it is a super trainer. It is not racing legal. There is 45 and a half millimeters of stack height in the heel, 37 and a half in the forefoot for an eight millimeter drop. It is very light. It's incredibly light on, on foot and in hand. It's 239 grams for men's size nine, which is, is 8.4 ounces, making it one of the lightest, if not the lightest super trainer out there. It's got a ton of flight foam turbo under here with a small layer, layer of flight foam blast plus underfoot. It's this stuff is good. The turbo in this shoe is what I wanted the recent iterations of the Edge Plus and Sky Plus to feel like. Not that I don't like those shoes. I love the Edge Plus, but this is kind of the more of that bounce, the controlled bounce that I wanted to feel, which is how it feels. It's got a, a nice controlled bounce underfoot. It does not feel mushy. It feels like a really solid ride. It is stiff. There's no plate in this shoe, which might be surprising, but it's very stiff initially, and then it breaks in. You need that rocker there, and the stiffness actually contributes to make it being able to handle some up-tempo stuff. So there's a solid bevel in the rear foot. This almost feels like you contact a little early initially, then the foam breaks in, it's nice. This this is a very aggressive toe, uh, toe spring, four-foot rocker that really snaps really well as soon as you kind of go up-tempo, which is why I like this. I've run plenty of easy runs, but I really like it for up-tempo runs and workouts. I did a threshold run in it yesterday, and it was awesome for it. It was great. felt awesome. Fit, it's a little snug in the fourth. Very thin, nice mesh. More normal width here. Very light and small heel, heel counter here, which locks your heel in, but has not given me any trouble with the mesh padding. But it's a great shoe. I'm really enjoying it, and I'm really going to encourage people to take a look at this if you're interested in a super train that's not super mushy and can still handle a variety of things.